If you haven't been living under a rock, you probably heard about that song Unholy by Sam Smith and Kim Petras. You know, the one with the satanic imagery at the Grammys? Well, apparently Kim Petras had some things to say about religion in general recently, and I thought that'd be interesting to hear. Transgender singer Kim Petras talks religion, community's representation ahead of Grammys. German-born pop princess Kim Petras, who made history last year as the first openly transgender singer to hit the top of the U.S. charts, is nominated for Best Pop Duo Group Performance for Unholy. The track, a pulsating club-ready song about adultery, debauchery, and a dirty, dirty boy, man, this sounds really weird to read in my voice, <laughs> reached global phenomenon status after debuting in the number one spot in the U.K. charts in late September. Speaking ahead of this weekend celebration of the best in music, Petrus reflected on her Grammy-nominated duet and the song she released as a follow-up to it if Jesus was a rock star. The acoustic guitar-driven track shows a more vulnerable side of a trans person who felt excluded from religion at an early age. This song shows how I feel as a human in the world right now, she told the Daily Beast late last year. So this is the point I wanted to get to. Everybody knows a bit about Unholy, uh, the things that it talks about, and I'm not really going to go into it here. But the song that she wrote as a follow-up to it, is, I think, is very important. You know, there's a lot of people in the transgender and LGBTQ community who feel excluded from religion, just like Kim. You know, I think it's a little bit strange when LGBTQ people take over a church or join a church and, you know, gain a lot of influence in it and make it into, like, a gay church I've had a couple of videos on that and I can link them in the description below, but this isn't what's happening with Kim. If you look at the lyrics to her song, you can kind of get an insight into how she's feeling. If Jesus was a rock star living like a party every day and diving off the stage, if he'd give it to a pop star, then I'd want to be just like him. You can kind of see where this is going. If he was a rock star throwing daddy's money all around while getting down, so they kicked him out of the bar, then I'd want to be just like him. This reads like such strange poetry. <laughs> but anyway, maybe I really need something to believe in. If he drank the pain away, I might. And if you think I can't be saved, that's right. I really, really want you to know that. I think this part of the chorus is the most telling part of her song. Because, well... She kind of makes Jesus into what she wants him to be. You know, lots of people do that. But Kim goes even further than that and says, well, if, if Jesus was some kind of partier and he drank all the time and was as broken as I am, then, you know, maybe I'd listen to him. Maybe I'd follow him. Maybe I'd believe in him. But why would you want to believe in someone who's just as broken as you are? Don't you want someone to aspire to? Isn't that the whole point? But even further, I think this lyric that I just read a second ago is really the crux of it all because she says, and if you think I can't be saved, that's right. I don't know what Kim's upbringing was, but there's lots of people that she can relate to by saying, I was raised in a Christian home and they told me that I was going to hell um, and that I never deserved heaven. And, you know, I think that's really depressing. I think that's really depressing. Yeah, it's a terrible thing that all of us are broken in some way. But the whole point of the gospel is that Jesus is the way to salvation for anybody. He ate with tax collectors who, by the way, they weren't just seen as evil like people nowadays see tax collectors. You know, people say taxes are evil, and so tax collectors would be the kind of person that you really don't want to see because they're taking away your money. But in uh, Jerusalem back in the day, when it was being run by the Roman Empire, the tax collectors would take money from the Jewish people and give it to the Romans. That was the tax, but these were Jewish people doing that. So they were seen not only as people taking their money, but they were seen as traitors. So to be a tax collector was like the worst thing. And Jesus ate with those people and he ate with prostitutes, but he didn't just be nice to them and tell them that, hey, you're doing a good job. Uh, I love you, keep up with it. He told them the truth, but he was loving to them. And I've had a couple videos recently uh, and talked about a couple videos that other people have posted recently, like with Matt Walsh, where he's um, very uh, brash might be the right word. He's kind of mocking Dylan Mulvaney in a way. And 
I can get behind that for some public figures because they come out against Christianity and they're very arrogant and they don't listen to kind words. So you kind of have to break that outer shell and get through to them in some way in the same kind of way that Jesus did with the Pharisees. But with people like Kim, you know, she's a public figure, sure, but she just kind of seems like a lost person and she's not trying to bash Christians or anything like that. She's not being arrogant here. She's saying, I don't think I'm good enough. Or really, I don't think I'll ever be good enough. And to an extent, she's right. But the point is that Kim is saying she doesn't think she can ever be saved. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that think that way. And it's just, it's not true. If you read the Bible, it's clear that that none of us deserve heaven. It's very clear about that. But it's also clear that there's a way provided so that you don't have to worry. The whole point of the Bible, of the Christian religion, is that God came down to earth to save us. Not that we would save ourselves, but that he would give it to us as a free gift. That's the whole point. And I just really hate that Kim seems to have missed that. None of us are good enough for heaven, but that's why Jesus had to come down in the first place. I really hope that helps, and I'll see you next time.